<laughs> hey guys, and welcome to another episode of New York's Beer Reviews. Today's beer is Bud Light Lemon Tea. Refreshment with a twist. So this is a Bud Light product. Um, um, this is a lager brewed with real lemon peels and aged on tea leaves. Wait, it's okay. Aged on tea, tea leaves with natural flavors added. Which is probably that fake lemon shit. Brewed by Anheuser Busch and Bev out of St. Louis, Missouri. 142 calories, which is not that light. Uh, 14.3 grams of carbs, not that light. So, yeah, I mean, the alcohol is kind of like 4.2. Uh, so yeah, it's a Bud Light product or Budweiser product, but Bud Light is kind of its own company now. So, and it's a wobbly glass because the bottom got like that indent from being whatever. So, I got the. I don't know if I'm going to drink all of this, depending on how it tastes. Um, fading away quite quickly, as you can see. And if you can hear that, probably not. But we got about a three finger of kind of like a cappuccino head, like milk, like froth milk. Um, brightly white. In the light, it is a very golden sh straw color. Very clear, ultra clear. Uh, yeah. Smell. Uh, it smells odd. Faint tea leaf, faint tea leaf, leaf, uh, scent. It smells kind of like a mix of, it smells very like soap. It smells like lemon soap. Yeah, I don't really taste, and I, sm I don't smell lemon. It smells like that fake shit. Okay. It basically tastes like beer with Lipton iced tea. That's what it tastes like. In fact, that's exactly what it tastes like. It tastes like very carbonated beer with Lipton iced tea. I don't know how any other way to to to, to describe it. Uh. Yeah, that's it. I don't really taste beer at all. Maybe, uh, I don't even taste hops. There's no bitterness. Okay, maybe there's like one hop. One little tiny bit. If you look for it. All right, this is this is a sad review because there's nothing really to this at all. It tastes like Lipton iced tea and like club soda. That's it for this review. That's all it tastes like. I don't taste. I don't, I don't pick up any malt. Um. There's no aftertaste, barely any bitterness. Um, it's carb. It's like carbonated. It's just basically Lipton iced tea that's carbonated with a little less of the Lipton flavor. It's like a over. It's like a, it's like fifty percent Lipton. Fifty no. Forty percent Lipton, sixty percent or thirty percent Lipton, seventy percent club soda.
And maybe I can't because it's so overpowering. That's really it. For the, I hate to end the review like that, but that's all I'm getting. I'm not picking up malt. Maybe a faint, so slight hop presence on the back end, like about a couple seconds after it finishes. But that really is it. Um, it's a little sweetness. It's not malt sweetness. It just tastes like sugar. Anyway, that's it for this review, guys. Sorry it had to be such a quick one. But as always, if you like, if as always, if you like the reviews, please rate, comment, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you think. And uh, we'll see you next time on Poznanski's beer reviews. Bye. Oh, actually, before I go, let me give you the ratings from Beer Advocate and Rate Beer. So on Rate Beer, it gets a ten overall and a twenty-two in the style for flavored fruit beer. On Beer Advocate, they give it a sixty-seven, which is poor. Kind of smells like Arizona sweet tea. Okay, yeah, that works. Not saying it's a bad thing. So, oh, yeah, Arizona. I, I didn't know if it was the Lipton tea. The Lipton, not the Lipton. The just, you know, the sweet teas that you buy on, like, the vending machines. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, Arnold Palmer. This is basically what it tastes like. Hops jump in. I don't get that. But anyway, um, I'm going to end it here. Thanks for stepping by, guys. And as for round two, we'll always see you again on New York's Beer Reviews. Bye.